Hi, my name is Anja Madunio, class of 2024. I play third base at IMG Academy. I'm committed to Duke University, and this is a day in the life. I would say I got into baseball around five or six years old um, and my brother really influenced me in playing baseball because he showed how much effort and work he put in and I want to do the same exact thing. I mean, when a lot of people ask me why Duke, I kind of just say, why not? Why wouldn't you pick one of the best schools academically and you know where a lot of the coaching staff cares for you and they do anything for you? Um, for example, they call you on a weekly basis or you call them and you know they check in how you're doing and you're gonna have the best experience at Duke, so. All right, so the recruiting process was pretty simple for me. So I was at a lot of tournaments in the summer and I competed really well. And they were they watched almost every single game that I was at from on TV to like in person, um, like Select Fest, they would see me play there. I would always do well there. And that's when they got in contact with me. And that's when I saw, you know, I looked into the facilities, the staff and everything Duke had and that's where I fell in love with it. So. Um, I would definitely say there is pressure, but I try not to think about it because I just want to go and have fun on the field. You know, as a lot of people would say, baseball is a sport where you just have fun and that's the that's the exact thing you know you just want to have fun when you play it's a game it's not a job yet but yeah I think my biggest strength that I bring to the baseball field is my five tool aspect. Um, I think that I have every single tool in what it means to be a great baseball player. But my one weakness would be probably the mental side of it because I get in my head a lot, like a lot after every game. Especially if I have a bad game and if I have a good game, I think up way too high in my expectations. And if it goes down one time, then I'm back down to where I started and I don't, I, I need to uh, like find a spot where I need to balance. So I don't have a top three, but I have a top two. 
Probably Tatis because I like seeing consistent players play. You know, every every time he gets up, I get excited. Every time a ground ball is hit, I get excited. I see a little ball pulled to shortstop. I want to see a nice play or on ESPN or something. Same thing with Arenado. You know, when I see him come up to bat, there's always something going on. He's a really good player and he's always in the top 10 ESPN highlight videos. So. My favorite baseball memory is definitely Cooperstown. Um, I always talk about this with all my friends that I played with there. Um, we came from losing one, our first game and we ended up winning on a walk-off home run in the championship and that was probably the best moment of my life. Um, the best advice I would give to people in the recruiting process is, you know, be yourself on the baseball field. Um, don't try to do too much, especially when college coaches are looking at you. And kind of just play the game, have fun, and be yourself. Alright, so first thing we did today was we got to the covered cages right here. We did some T work, then we went out to soft toss. After that, we stretched a little bit and we did some hitting on field and we threw. Did some uh, double plays, slow rollers, and you know, throws to first. Uh, I had Crawford throw down to me so I can get some picks at second, get some reps at third and first. And went back here. Got some blocking work in for Coffer and we just call it a day. So that's the day in my life.